Hey, what's up guys? It's T-Bone here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legendary Game of Heroes. So the Dragon Gate Part 1 event has come to an end and I'm pretty excited that I'm going to be able to show you something that I don't think I've ever been able to get before and that is um, having all the feature units at 6 stars to get the um, relic that is 6 stars. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of information about this staff uh, either on Facebook or other forums and so I thought this would be a good opportunity to, to collect it uh, in this event and then see uh, see what it is. So uh, I was able to finally get Hideki to 6 star at the end of the event. Uh, I think when I got him to 6 stars I literally had maybe a few minutes left in uh, the event. So I wasn't able to use him, uh, which is unfortunate. But because I was able to get him to 6 stars, uh, that, that means that the only thing remaining is uh, Vulcan. And so if you take a look at uh, the requirement to uh, to level Vulcan, uh, I have him at 5 star right now. And let's see, so Vulcan is at 5 stars. And to evolve him, uh, I need another Godstone. So just as it happens, right now, it's a fire dungeon. And if you take a look at the items that are available, uh, the Godstone is available. Now, the thing that I really am conflicted with is that uh, the Matt Hatter's hat is also available in this exact dungeon. And I have Alice at uh, four stars. Now, the thing is, with this upcoming event, I'll show you. Um, so the, the, the event that's coming up is a, a commander-based event. For, uh, for your water heroes and I have Alice at four stars and I wanted to, I really really wanted to uh, to upgrade her and you know she requires a Matt Hatter's hat as well right the reason why I wanted to upgrade her is because you know number one she is a water commander for the next event and she does you know she has a really nice battle skill so I'm obviously going to be using her it, you know it upgrades her uh, water gem to a power one in a power gem. Uh, every three turns for uh, for battle skill, so it's gonna be very helpful. And having a three, you know, um, a five stars means so her uh, multiplier will be three. But I thought it is a very rare chance for me to get, you know, to collect something with all my feature units at six stars. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the Godstone. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so let's get the Godstone at six stars. So it costs 50 of the dungeon tokens, and I have 60 I've been collecting. So let's go ahead and pick one up. And let's go ahead and upgrade or, or evolve uh, Vulcan now. So we'll go ahead and uh, craft an Altaris tier. And let's go ahead and create two Fire Essence 5s. And then craft a Fire Essence 6. And let's go ahead and evolve Vulcan to six stars. All right, awesome. So now let's see what we can get. Let's go back to the event. Let's go back to the event here and we'll go to event collection. And we can collect this item now. So it's a race staff and also I get some mana. All right, so let's go ahead and collect it and see what we get. So I get race staff and 1200 mana. And now let's see what this, uh, what the staff does. So you go to gear and then we can take a look here. Alright, so race staff relic effects increases race attack by 10.28% when fighting a, an earth enemy and it applies to any evolution of ray only. Only one flame of a champion can be active at one time. So I guess if you got a uh, race staff at 5 star or 3 star you can only use them one at a time. Uh, gem of the Inferno creates one fire power gem three on turn one. All right, and I guess you need to you need to actually uh, have Ray on the team, and it also increases a team attack by sixteen point five percent. It targets all fire heroes, and it applies in all activities. So uh, yeah, so this is really awesome, uh, and I can also power up to increase attack uh, percentage. So I'm going to be spending some time to upgrade there. So, uh, you know, one of the 
It's my only six star relic. Obviously, you know, there's been a lot in the recent uh, events and I'm really excited to be getting this one. So that's great. Now, the other thing that, uh, you know, I wanted to show is the event forge. So look at this. I have four out of five six star banners. And, you know, I, I could be spending gems to purchase the, the banner pack uh, to try and get it, but I just I just don't think it's going to be worth it for me. I don't. I want to save my gems for the next event, right? And I don't know if I'm going to be uh, bothering with the Ascension of Ray as much as I would like to. So instead, what I've got is enough uh, banners to craft a four-star uh, shield relic, which is actually a really good uh, relic by itself. I could do it you know, up to eight times. I have 40 of the five-star banners, so I could actually yeah, craft eight of these things and then use them to uh, basically level them up to, to increase the level of the shield. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. Uh, let's just go ahead and do it because uh, I don't think I'm going to craft anything else. I'm going to go ahead and craft uh, eight of these, and I will, I'll, spend, I'll, I'll probably do it after this video. And then... What I did with the event stores, I, you know, I've spent, you know, I bought, I purchased a Godstone and I purchased a Zen Garden. And then with 285, you know, it just, I don't really have enough to get any of the items remaining. Um, so I'll probably take my chance with a four star hero just to see what I get here. And I get another Darmir Dragon. So I already have a few of these. I decided not to invest in him, so I actually dusted them all. So this will be good. This will be another uh, 25 dust. And let's see here. So that's pretty much it for the event there. Now, I, I didn't do as well this time around uh, in terms of the solo play because I focus a lot more on the uh, guild bosses. Uh, so, you know, help the guild uh, reach a higher level, higher um ranking than previous events, so I'm pretty happy about that. And now the last thing, I, next thing I wanted to show is uh, the store. So there's a couple things here. Number one is uh, they introduced this thing called Jackpot. Uh, so I guess for this next event only, any event uh, packs that you open has a chance for you to win a Jackpot. So let's take a look to see what this is. Uh, oh, okay, so I guess if you open an event pack, there's a chance for you to get a Jackpot token. And then when you open the pack, there's a chance for you to win uh, this bonus of basically, uh, my goodness, you can get one of each five-star legend, uh, one of each five-star essence, 50,000 gems, and 10 million gold. All right, so, um, okay. <laughs> this is a good incentive for you to purchase the pack, right? So let's see here. So uh, let's see. So this is the Vengeful Commander pack. This is, the, this is for the next upcoming event and you know is there a guarantee for you to get anything right now so there is a hmm. so you're guaranteed to get Joan of Arc at level at tier 2 interesting okay and then you do get a hero at 3 okay so I guess what that means is you know the first here you'll probably get one of the units that you need to get the free uh, feature hero and then the second tier you get a four star Joan of Arc but she is not a commander hero she's a slayer hero and then tier three onwards you can get all right well let's take a chance so it's basically 300 700 and 1400 gems plus you know 500 you get 500 back so that's about 1900 gems. Let's go ahead and get some. All right, so we'll open up a pack. Let's see what we get here. All right, so we get this unit, uh, Frost and Elder. I get him a lot when, you, when I just farm for, um, when I just farm for Altera tier. And then let's go ahead and get the Joan of Arc at four stars. And let's see what our other uh, unit's going to be. Oh, it's gonna be another of the three star unit. Unfortunately I didn't I'm I'm not, you know, didn't get good luck to to get a uh to get a commander slayer to get uh what's her name? Yuko. Let's try one more time. And see if we can get a uh 
jackpot ticket. So there's the 500 gems. Let's swipe keys, get another unit here. <sighs> All right, so I got the beast and got nothing. All right, so I don't have as much luck as I did in the last event where I got uh, where I got Junko on tier two. So I spent about 1,900 gems. I'm probably not going to spend any more at this point. I'm going to save my gem for the next pack that's going to be available uh, t starting tomorrow when the event starts, where I can get another uh, unit, you know, I, probably at tier two, guarantee at three stars. We'll try our luck again. Uh, you know, didn't have any luck today with jackpot, but hopefully you have better luck. And then if you do, you know, share what you got and uh, let's see uh, who, who's the lucky winner. So that's it for today's uh, episode. Uh, I'm not really going to fight anything. I just wanted to sort of wrap up the event and sort of show the new stuff here. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, when a new event starts, I'll talk about the other feature unit and also some of the gameplay. So that's it. Thank you very much. Take care and see you next time.